everyone. I'm so glad you joined me today. We've been learning a lot about Paul. Paul is the man who was completely changed by Jesus. Jesus changed his heart so much that Paul went from someone who tried to persecute Christians into the man that wrote almost half of the New Testament. It was an extraordinary change in Paul. Paul spent the rest of his life on missionary journeys telling everyone how much Jesus loved them. He was often arrested. Arrested, put in jail for simply telling people how much Jesus loved them. And Paul would write letters, letters to the new churches and letters to friends while he was on his journey. And many of those letters were written when he was in jail. Paul wrote to the people of Rome to tell them about the good news of Jesus Christ. He wrote back to the people of Corinth to give them guidelines on how they could begin to live their life as believers. He wrote letters to Timothy and to Titus, encouraging them to remain strong in the Lord. And all of his letters, also called epistles, now make up half of the books in the New Testament. And these letters were amazing. They were amazing because Paul understood, even if he couldn't be with his friends or with the new churches, even if he was in jail, the power of his words could change everything. Paul knew that his words could help people understand the love of Jesus. That's how important the words were, so important that he wrote them down into letters so people would still have those words of encouragement even when Paul wasn't there. Words are that important. Paul's letters teach us about Jesus, but Paul's letters also teach us that Jesus wants us to use our words, use our words to speak love and to speak light. You see, we all know that words, when they're harsh and they're mean, words can hurt. They can hurt our hearts and they can become painful. But words can also make us feel great. Words can encourage and build us up. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. And Paul's letters teach us to use our words to share the love and the light of Jesus Christ. It's because words travel. When words leave your mouth, those words can travel into the heads and into the hearts of other people. And because our words travel, it's so important that they are words of encouragement and words of love. Your messages can tell others how much Jesus loves them. So to show you a little bit more about how our words, our messages travel, what I have today is a plate and I've got an Expo marker. This is the type of marker that you use on whiteboards. And what I'm going to do, right on my plate with my Expo marker, I'm drawing a heart. Right in the middle of my plate using my marker. So what I've got is a heart. Because that heart is my message of love. And now what I'm going to do is you'll see I've got some water. And I'm going to pour some water right down on my heart. I'm going to pour that water right on my message of love. Watch what's happening, look at that. My heart is starting to float. My message of love is starting to move and I can take my hand and I'm gonna stick it right down on that message. And look what happened. My message has moved. It's not on my plate anymore. Now it's on my hand. My message of love traveled. It traveled from the plate to my hand, just like the words from our mouth travel from our mouth to other people's heads and to their hearts. That's why words are so important. Jesus wants us to use our words to speak love, to speak light, and to help other people feel good and feel and understand that Jesus loves them so very much. I'd like you to listen to these words. These words were written by Paul. Paul wrote these in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter four, verse 29. Paul writes, when you talk, don't say harmful things. Say what people need, words that help others become strong. Then what you say will help those who listen to you. Jesus wants us to use our message, our words, words for love and light. Use your words to help people understand the great and amazing love of Jesus Christ. Would you pray with me? Let's bow our heads and talk to God. 
Father God, I pray my words are pleasing to you. Help me use my words to share love and light. You are the most amazing Savior. In Jesus' name. I'm so glad you're here today, friends, and I hope you come back again. We've got so much more to learn about Jesus. He loves you so very much.